welcome to open cvs software for microcredit and microfinance this software has been designed that it can operate microfinance and microcredit there are some reports in the system that you will not use your hands to prepare it on excel some reports like aging analysis portfolio at risk investment and reinvestment accrued interest calculation loans insurance calculation and many more without wasting much time let me quickly take you through the system before first you have to use the software you have to come to settings and then go to general settings and see how it suits you the system first asks you do you allow multiple group yes or no do you allow multiple loans yes or no your bad loan base you have to enter and these are all questionnaires that you can pause it and view it and see. These are all information. And then you come to provisional rules. Bank of Ghana used to ask every microfinance or microcredit to prepare or to prepare their provisional report. Some some of them use do it manually on Excel. This software will allow you to do it, enter it automatically here so that it will prepare it for you manually automatically sorry now if you click on the first one this system is asking you zero to zero this how many percent do you charge and how many percent is your percentage and one to thirty days how many percent so you will fix all this thing when you finish setting up the rules and the other settings first then you have to come this is the accounting side this is where you prepare your chart of accounts your accounting rules your trial balance, your general ledger, your manual entry, standard books, export transaction and accounting closure, your physical year. And then this is the report. Okay, now when you've set all these things, now this is sample. So what I've entered here is just sample. So let me quickly take you through. We have to go to search client and then you search for your customer. This is a QI Eboa. The QI Eboa is coming for a loan. You can upload a picture of for that particular person here. This is just sample. The one picture and one signature. One can be signature, one can be template, depending how you want it to be. And before a customer will come for a loan, like microcredit, first of all, you have to collect your loans insurance and loan form fee, loan application fee. Now, I'll first come to manual entry and then click add. And then I'll receive my manual entry by debiting my cash at hand and then credit my loan form fee. So, how much am I collecting? 20 cities. And who is paying the loan to me? Who is paying the amount to me is a peer. And let me go for the last one. Last one. That's loan application fee. You can even choose to enter your loan insurance here. This year, it's depending on your chart of accounts, how you have prepared your chart of accounts. When you finish, you close it. Once they have paid the loan insurance and the loan application, then it's time for you to pre to prepare them the loan. So we you come back and search them. This is it. So I'll first come to loan. This is funeral loan and this is personal loan. You can even add more loans to it in case you want to name them. I'll click on personal loan. And this is my loan interface. The system is asking me when is the person coming in for the loan. Is it today? If it's today, then the system is asking me the person you paid on next month 11. Let me quickly go back and tell the system that the loan was given to Prince on the August 1st. On August 1st, have you seen the system of telling me that the uh, uh, Prince will start paying on 1st September? Okay, now this system is such that everything is automatically. So let me quickly enter the amount here. Let's say 5,000 Ghana cities. The interest is let's say three percent and the number of installments is six months so i'll preview 
and the system will prepare me the amounts the interest prince will pay and the principal prince will pay so the principal plus the interest will be this every month so now let's take a look at this some microfinance or microcredit use this calculation manual so at the end of the day they lose the reason why i'm saying this is this system calculates the number of days in the month so if a month ends let's say 28 days the system knows but if you are doing it manually you man you always calculate it on 31st 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 okay now this is how it is so you first calculate it will calculate it for you manually and this is how so if you want to increase let's say the interest if you want to increase the interest let's say you click on, on the phone and then click that's four percent and the interest will change so if if the person accepted that he will pay this amount then you pay the interest then you click save then the system will ask you to insure your loans then I will, i'm insuring my loan for four percent and we come to penalties charges so this penalty is going to tell us if the person default the system will automatically calculate the penalty but how many days the system will ask you how many days if the person didn't show up the system should charge that is i put 14 days you can even decide to put even 12 days if the person didn't show up the system will automatically charge the person so the system is asking you what type of interest or penalty charges are you going to use here we have to on the total loan amount we have the overdue interest we have outstanding loan balance and then we have overdue overdue principal okay so i'm going to use the outstanding loan balance charges for 0 0.2 percent should increase the person default then i save the moment i save the loan become pending i have to disperse the loan so i'll come back to the date and then go back to home and choose the loan like August then save and then come back and i'll come back to my loan these de details and then this is how i'm going to preview the installment and print it and give it to the customer this is how the preview is going to look like you can print this one and give it to the customer on and at the same time you can print the interest uh, the, in uh, the invoice the loan receipt and give it to the attached to give it to the customer then you can disperse the loan by cash or by check. So if I disperse it by cash, then click OK, disbursement done. As soon as I save the loan, let's see what will happen. Have you seen that the system have alert me? Why? Because this system is that if someone owns you, you don't have to search for them manually. Some microfinance or microcredit search their de defaulters manually in them in their books this system will automatically alert you every day if someone owns you it will alert you here for you to know how many people have to pay us today the system will alert you so now i'm receiving the amount the person owns me here so have you seen the penalties charges have automatically calculated and this is my interest and here you can decide to disable the interest like reducing it for the person in case maybe something came across it came across that's why maybe the penalty charges came so now i'll receive the amount it goes okay so this is the amount i've received i can receive the next penalty charge too okay so have you seen once i've paid off there's no alert because i don't own anybody once i own it will alert them it will let you the microfinance that this person owns you so now this is how the loan so if someone also pays loan you can print a receipt for the person like i'm saying this system is paperless you don't have to prepare receipt print receipt books and everything you do at your micro credit at the microfinance no at your office it will prepare you it will prepare you the loan it will prepare you the, the invoice everything that you supposed to have okay now let's quickly go back to another person and see 
how we prepare that person loan. Okay. Let's come to um, um, Prince. I think Prince. Let's prepare a loan for Prince and see what the system also will do. Prince is coming for funeral loan. And you grant a funeral loan, let's say, Prince has come, he came in for last month. And then let's say, uh, he came for the amount of 10,000 Ghana cities. And then the interest was 8%. Then we preview. So this is. Now take a look at this. Have you seen this one is reducing balance? This is this one is not fixed like the other one, it's reducing. So the loan, the software also can can allow you to, to set up your loans for reducing and fix. So this is reducing. So if the person accepted, then I save. And then this one I'll take the penalties on the overdue principal for four percent and ensure my loan for ten percent of my loans and then save and then validate the loan to this desk here to look at this you can ref you can refuse the loan you can postpone the loan you can abandon the loan you can delay the loan so these are the questionnaires that you can see so i'm going to disperse the loan Once I disperse investment done, so it tells me Prince also owes me one month. Okay, now let's quickly go back and see. I will not receive the amount. Okay, let's click on this refresh and see what will happen to our system. Have you seen that the provisional rules is telling us that we are we are not performing. We are at risk of 70 75 percent risk because of the loan that we haven't collected so how many days is the loan have that loan have been there for a long how many days have the person before okay let's quickly go back to our accounting and see back to how our system we go to accounting closure and then come to postings and then go back to the days we prepared or we gave the loan and then we take all this you can decide to take exact transaction that you have made so far. So far, this is how much we have the, the transaction that is pending. We are now pushing the transaction into the general ledger. Now, we have finished. And now we can go back and see what is going on in our accounting system. Now, look at our active loans. Let's see our active loans. This is our active loans. Have you seen it? Funeral loans and then personal loans. And how the type of workers we give the loans to. We give to traders and we give some to teachers. So if you want to know the number of loans, the amount that you have to, if you have given to teachers, the system will tell you, and the amount you are giving to traders, the amount you are giving to drivers, the system will tell you. And where did where did the loans go? So the system will tell us the loans went to Ahojo and some of the loans also went to TUC. It's the towns that the loan have went to. And this is our interest rate so far. And this is so this is very marvelous. So if you are using this system, there is no report that you do. This is close contract. This is collection sheet. This is delinquency loans. So how many people own us are from our, on our delinquents? So this is delinquency loans. Have you seen it? The delinquent loans prepared, the start date, the end date, the name, and then the amount I gave, the principal you are paid, and the outstanding loan balance left, late principal, late interest, and late penalties, and the late days that you have in, you have defaulted so far. So looking at this report, disbursement report, outstanding loan balance, and the loan loss provision, this is the interface of the outstanding loan balance and the loan loss provision. This is the report. Okay. And then we come to repayment. 
so the amount that we receive this is the uh, the repayment we have collected so far this is it so the repayment this is the late principal that is the penalty income that we got the principal we receive the interest we receive so this is the amount we receive so far okay so this is the repayment so if you are losing you know and this is the ar the pra that is the analysis that is the portfolio at risk the portfolio at risk also prepared by the prepares when the 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 when the provisional rules moves and this one also moves so this is the agent this is it so there are some report like i'm saying you don't have to do with manual if you go to the other report this is your cash book the cash book will get you the, the interest and then the amount you are paying so far the disbursement you have and the repayment you are receiving okay so this is it the reports are plenty you can pause and then go through and see these are all the reports that your general ledger is here disbursement of trash disbursement and reinvestment credit like insurance report compulsory savings you see client and loan statistics you see so all this this is the loan loss provision this is the report go back and then you see our loan loss provision you see this is it the loan loss provision is here it tells you the provision begins and provision ends and provision differences so this is the differences and this is the percentages why do you worry yourself to use a software that will give you problems this software is there for you this is the general ledger the general ledger also will get us our asset and liabilities including our capital and everything this is it so this is this is our cash at hand where we, we, we grant loans from this cash at hand release the loan so this is the loan we gave and this is the interest we are getting the income the amount they are paying us are you getting it the amount this is a like pay your pays out 20 cities on loan form fee loan application fee and all that. it came back to cash at hand and at the same time it has this the income side so it's double entry and this is the loans to members that we gave so far and this is the amount they have paid to us and this is the cumulative balance so why do you want yourself to strike this is the penalties we are getting on loans this application loan application form you are getting this is the interest on loan that we are getting so after you get this you can also go back to the assets and liabilities as your trial balance and it will prepare your income and the liabilities the income and expense and this is the asset and liabilities so as a micro finance or micro credit it depends how you set up your chart of account and how you want it to be this one i haven't entered any expenses so it will be like only income and a loan and this is statistics per gender how many women and how many men we are giving them loans so far there are some report that even you don't need you will not ask for it but the system will generate for you so using this system is very very flexible and there are a whole lot of questionnaires and set up inside this is the loan products and the loan products too there's a whole lot of questions that you can tell the loan to pay to pay if this is just a video this is the credit insurance guarantees you see this is guarantees and collaterals if you want to use guarantees and collaterals it's there this is line of credit exotic installments fees charges are you getting it so what i'm just showing in you is just a video platform so if you want to set this system for your microfinance or micro credit or micro credit is one of the best this is the products you can set for your uh your low your your savings products this year the savings product also gives you um interest to customers overdraft term deposits transactions i think everything that a microfinance deserve or a microcredit deserve is there you can choose to change the system to use microcredit 
you can choose to change the system to use microfinance all of them will work and it doesn't cost like I'm saying it's one-time payment there is no monthly charge there is no yearly charges when you paid you paid for just one time fee for the training setup for you it depends where you are depending on the region if you are in different region your price and maybe you, you travel your price is different from someone within the same region and if you want to use the software you can contact software house software house Ghana you can search us online on Google software house Ghana or you can find us on Ghana today business Ghana today business.com you can also find us on Ghana today business.com or you can contact us on 233 551 58 four eight nine nine that is our contact number feel free to contact us in case you need any software we are that is what why we are called software house any kind of software we have so if you need any different software give us a call and we will deal with you or we will have uh, let's say uh, we, 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 we let's say uh, like I'm saying we will we, 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 we'll communicate with you and see what we can do for you. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Thank you.